wearing this hat because I'm a European and I'm wearing this tie because I'm a Muslim. And I want to just go into that in more detail so that you will see the aspect of cultural uh, change but also cultural kind of continuity and what it means to be a Muslim and what it means, that, you know, the, the, the location that you're, you're actually living in. Now, this hat is actually of origin a Roman hat. That the, all over the Roman world, people made felt hats in this way, and they wore felt hats. So if you go all around the, Medi the rim of the Mediterranean, you will find that these kind of felt hats have been, uh, have been worn. And, and it's not actually only in the countries where the Muslims have remained wearing this kind of hat, but also it was in the countries that were, 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 which didn't become Muslim and still remain, in a sense, part of the uh, legacy of the Roman world. Because actually, if you know anything about these, these hats, you, you will know that the, 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 the one I'm wearing is not the usual color. So what color would you expect to see a felt hat like this? If you, green is a very nice color, but that, that's a very kind of modern thing. I mean, the, the, the traditional colors is, is red. And in fact, the, the red dye used, we call it in Arabic, kermiz. Kermiz, which if, and I'm not sure, I'm not a linguist, so I don't know whether the Arabic has taken from the kind of the, the, the European or Latin, I don't know what the root of, or the, 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 the Latin has taken from the Arabic because basically it's crimson. Kermes and crimson are, you know, are the same color and the, from the same root. So the red dye that was used was from the insects and this is the traditional color of this kind of hat. But this kind of red hat is also used by a significant group of people who are now in Rome on basically this very day, celebrating the festival of Easter, who, who, and they're all hovering around there at the moment because they think that the Pope is going to die at any moment. So who wears red hats? Hmm? Yeah, the Catholic... But, yeah, the cardinal, the Catholic cardinals wear red hats, but in a kind of uh, almost like an analogy about what's happened to Christianity, they no longer wear the, the, the felt hats, which they did originally, they wear silk hats. So it's a kind of uh, like a physicalization of the kind of process that happened to uh, Christianity and, and, and in a sense, um, it's becoming a, a, a part of the pomp and show of this world rather than being you know, of the people because this is really a people's hat. So I can claim as a European Muslim that the most appropriate hat for me to wear is this hat and its legacy back to the Roman Empire. I'm actually going to look at the Roman Empire and you'll probably say at the end of the talk, well, why is he wearing a Roman hat? Because uh, part of the presentation that I want to talk about is how Christianity was captured by the Roman Empire and distorted by the Roman Empire. But let's go back to my tie and see why I wear it because I'm a Muslim. And I wear it because, as you rightly pointed out, it is a custom and tradition of the land that I come from. I am, you know, I am English, middle class. I'm actually working as the director of the Association of Muslim Schools. So I, I have a kind of job which is, you know, to being a professional person. And in, when I'm doing that, I, I want to be recognized as that and given the respect for having that kind of, uh, of position in society and that there's nothing actually in wearing a tie itself which counteracts the, 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 uh, the sunnah of what clothes should be for a Muslim.